Hello everyone, my name is Anton, and today we're going to make a video about the best graphics card for the money. So a lot of people have been asking me this, and it's quite a good time to get one. Now the new consoles are coming out, but let's get this out of it. Anyway, for the graphics card, I recommend the HD7770 for the cheapest graphics card. Now, I have this graphics card and I love it. I absolutely love this graphics card. I mean, it runs almost every game. Ultra settings at 1366 or 768, which is quite a small resolution, but almost it's the most common resolution. Maybe from tablets and stuff, but... At 1080p, it still runs games really well, and it only costs £90 at most for a really good model. Yeah, you, got, you really can't beat that deal. So, if, so I, I would not recommend the HD 7790, because that is not much of a difference like, like an overclocked HD 7770. So let's move on to the HD 7850, which is basically two tiers up, if you think about it. Now, the HD 7850 only costs £125-ish. 125 to 150 ish. That's the limit. This card is really good for the money because at that price, it's a quite good mid range graphics card. It is an entry level 1080p graphics card. It'll run Battlefield 3 around about 40 FPS ultra settings at 1080p, which is really good for a graphics card for this price. And it just give you, it lets you choose two free games from this website while you can see. So you can pick two free games as your choice. Now, Battlefield 4. Is, well, Battle 4 has been sponsored by AMD, so that may be on there, but I doubt it. It's going to be probably lose money from doing that. So, moving on, the 7950. Now, I actually do recommend the 7870, but the 7950 from this website, this UK website, only costs £20 more. So, why would you get a 7870 if you get 7950 or £20 more? But, you know, that's my logic. But, the 7870. 870 is still a very good graphics card. Very, very good graphics card. I still recommend it. If you don't want to spend that much money or you don't want to use that much power, 7870 is probably better because it's a really good mid range king. 7870 is a mid range king. But anyway, so I do recommend a HD 7950. Also, on my list, I always have a GTX 760. Now, this graphics card competes with the HD 7950. It costs £20 more, but if you do a lot of physics and CUDA stuff, then this is the graphics card for you, because yeah, let's face it, if you if you don't have if you have a CUDA graphics card, and you work with CUDA, that'd probably be better than an OpenGL. As I say that, physics. Moving on to the H, no sorry, the GTX 770. I keep mess, 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 messing up the name, but anyway, this graphics card was released in early May, I think, early May. It only costs 300 pounds and cost and it works better than a GTX 680. It's also a very good graphics card for the money, in my opinion. It's a very good high-end graphics card. I recommend it a lot because it can get high, really, really high frame rates, like maybe 100 FPS Ultra uh, on Battlefield 3. I'm using Battlefield 3 as an example because it's quite hard game to run, but a lot of people play the game. And Battlefield 4 is coming out soon. I'll make a video on the spe system of currents and that. But yeah, the GTX 770 is a very good graphics card for money. I don't have a graphics card, but I know someone who has it and. If you could get it to work, I think you'd love it. I, I would really want one, because it's better than GTX 680, which was a previous best graphics card ever, single. So yeah. Now moving on, this is the last graphics card on the list, the GTX 780. The 780, I really recommend, because... Yeah, because... Well, not really recommend, but if you really, really want to get a high-end graphics card, this is the graphics card, because it's only 5%... 5 percent uh, worse than a Titan, and a Titan's a thousand pounds. So why would you get a Titan if you just overclock the 780 just slightly? I mean, they look the same. Some of the models of the 780 look the same to Titans. So I really don't get why would you buy a Titan. I mean, Titan's just like a placeholder from NVIDIA just to show we well, got better quality stuff than you, than AMD. So yeah. Also, uh, an honourable mention, the HD 7970. Now, this is a very good graphics card for money, I have to say, but I don't really recommend it that much. It overheats a lot. It's just something, but you know, I do recommend. I do slightly recommend. It. It's just kind of a mixy thing. I don't. I'm kind. Of, I don't. I'm not really fixed on my opinion on it. But if you want one, get one because I recommend them. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching, and I hope this video has been informational to you. And I'll see you later.